First of all, thank you so much for watching. Secondly, I love making these videos, but I need your support. Take two seconds and click subscribe. I really appreciate it. Now today's feature video, the top eight things that will drain your car battery. Let's get started. Number one, you, human error. You've probably done this at least once in your lifetime. You come home from work tired and not really thinking and left the headlights on and didn't completely close the trunk or even forgot about some internal lights. Overnight, the battery drains and in the morning, your car won't start. Many new cars alert you if you've left your lights on, but may not have the alert for other components. Number two, parasitic drain. Parasitic drain is due to components in your vehicle continuing to run after the key is turned off. Some parasitic drain is normal. Your battery delivers enough energy to keep things like your clock, radio, presets, and security alarm operational at all time. However, if there is an electrical problem such as faulty wiring, poor installation, and defective fuses, parasitic drain can exceed what's normal and deplete the battery. Number three, faulty charging. If your charging system isn't working properly, your car battery can drain even while you're driving. Many cars power their lights, radio, and other systems from the alternator, which can make the battery drain worse if there's a charging problem. The alternator may have loose belts or worn out tensioners that keep it from working properly. Number four, a defective alternator. A car alternator recharges the battery and powers certain electrical systems like lights, radio, air conditioning, and automatic windows. If your alternator has a bad diode, your battery can drain. A bad alternator diode can cause the circuit to charge even when the engine is shut off, and then you'll end up in the morning with a car that won't start. Number five, extreme temperature. Whether extremely hot, over 100 degrees, or cold, under 10 degrees, temperatures can cause lead sulfate crystals to build up. If the car is left in such conditions for too long, the sulfate buildup can damage long-term battery life. It may also take a long time for your battery to charge in these environments, especially if you only drive short distances. Number six, excessive short drives. Your battery may wear out before it's time if you take too many short drives. The battery puts out the most power when starting the car. Shutting off your vehicle before the alternator has a chance to recharge could explain why the battery continues dying or doesn't seem to last long. Number seven, corroded or loose battery cables. The charging system cannot top off your battery while driving if the battery connections have corroded. They should be checked for dirt or signs of corrosion and cleaned using a cloth or toothbrush. Loose battery cables make it difficult to start the engine too as they cannot transfer the electrical current efficiently. And number eight, it's an old battery. If your battery is old or weak, it will not hold a full charge well. If your car consistently won't start, it's possible the battery is worn out. You should generally replace your car battery every three to four years. If old or poorly maintained, your battery may die on a regular basis. And finally, what to do with a battery that keeps dying? Having a battery that won't hold a charge is frustrating, of course, and figuring out what's causing the problem can be tricky. Assuming that the cause of the battery drain is not human error, you will need the assistance of a qualified mechanic who can diagnose your car's electrical problems and determine if it's a dead battery or something else in the electrical system. That's my video for today. Now take two seconds, click subscribe if you haven't already, and leave some comments below about some upcoming videos you'd like to see. Until next time, I'm Dave Erickson. Thanks for watching.